Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast. I'm Jane Rogers, journalist, health coach, consultant to doctors, and recovering chocoholic. My passion is helping my friends and others squeeze every drop out of life, using the latest scientific breakthroughs to make 90 the new 40, extend our health spans by 10 to 20 years, and prevent the diseases of aging. I travel the world interviewing leading experts in health and longevity to learn how to live longer, better, buckle up. It's never too late to ride the cutting edge to grow younger, sexier, healthier, and sharper together. My guest on this episode is Dr. Richard Restack. Dr. Restack is a neurologist and a neuropsychiatrist in private practice in Washington, D.C. He's also a professor of neurology at the George Washington Hospital University School of Medicine. He's written 20 books about memory. His most recent is The Complete Guide to Memory, The Science of Strengthening Your Mind. And I read an awful lot. I read about two or three books a week. So I'm constantly reading both fiction and nonfiction. And I've made some observations about the difference between fiction and nonfiction when it comes to memory. Namely, I think that fiction is a more challenging thing to, to do in terms of maintaining memory. You can take a nonfiction book, like my book, and you can uh, open it up if you like. In fact, that's the way I wrote it. To any page that may be interesting to you, you might like one of the chapter titles. You can start reading it, and you'll, you'll do pretty well with it. But it's the rare novel that you could open up in the middle and start reading and not having read what came previously. So that um, with the novel, you have to maintain characters. You've got to maintain uh, your judgment and the author's judgment about the character and what they've done, how they fit into the particular plot. And that's difficult. So that's, that's a very demanding thing. So I always noticed that the two things that often turn up when people are starting to have dementia or mild cognitive impairment is that they switch their reading to almost all nonfiction. <laughs> 